welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on from two mathematics and our topic for today is quadratic expressions and ex equations. And our identity for today is going to be a minus b squared. So just like we said in the previous uh, lesson when we looked at a plus b squared, we come up with an identity that we use to expand expressions instead of doing the long method. So let's see how this would work where we have a minus b squared. So let's open it the normal way so that we can get the identity. So a minus b squared means is a minus b times a minus b. So we open it the way we did in the long method. So we'll use that this expression to open the other one. So it's a into bracket a minus b, then minus b into bracket a minus b. So if you open this, it's going to be a squared, a times minus b, it becomes minus a b, then minus b times a becomes minus a b still, minus b times minus b becomes positive b squared. It's very important you see this. So this becomes a squared minus ab minus ab becomes minus 2ab plus b squared. So this is ex the expression. This is what we get. So every time we have two expressions, our a minus b squared, we can use the identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared to open. This is slightly different from what we did in our previous video because we had a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Let's do some examples so that you can see what we mean. So we have x minus 5 squared. We do not need to expand this. So we are just going to use a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is what we are going to use. So we identify our a, our a is going to be x and our b is going to be 5. So a squared is going to be x squared minus 2. A b is going to be x times 5. Then plus b squared, so it is plus minus 5 squared. Note when you are picking your a, b, I know there's a tendency to us to pick a minus 5. So when you are picking your a, b, you are taking the x and the 5 without the minus because that has been incorporated in the identity. So this becomes x squared minus, this is 5x times 2, which gives us 10x, then plus 5 times 5, which becomes 25 squared. If you make a mistake of putting minus 5 here, it changes the whole expression. And if you open this expression, it will end up with a minus here. All right, let's do another one. So this is 3 minus x squared. So this is our a, this is our b. So we want to put it in the form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So our a is 3, so it is 3 squared minus 2. Our a is 3, our b is x plus b squared, which is x squared. So it becomes 9 minus 3 times x becomes 3x times 2 becomes 6x. Then plus x squared, that becomes our expression. Now, just like we did in the previous lesson, let's work out some fraction values on the same. So let's do the first question, which is 1 over x minus 1 squared. So this is our a, this is our b. Remember, we want to put it in a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So everywhere we have a, we put 1 over x. So this becomes 1 over x squared minus 2. a is 1 over x times 1 plus our b is 1 squared. So this gives us 1 over x squared. This is x squared. Minus 1 over x times 1 is 1 over x. This becomes 2 
over x. You open this correctly, make sure you don't do any error. And then plus 1 squared is 1. So our expression looks like this. So as again, I said you can get rid of the, of the fractions by getting the LCM. And the LCM of 1x and x squared is x squared because it becomes x, 1, 1, x, and then x, 1, 1, 1. So you multiply everywhere by x squared, everywhere by x squared, everywhere by x squared. So this cancels out, you're left with 1, and then minus. This cancels with one of the x's, you're left with 2x plus. This becomes 1x squared, which is the same as uh, x squared. So let's carry out this other question. So we have 1 over 2a minus 1 over 3b squared. So this is your a, all of it, and then this all of it is your b. So remember, we want to put it in the form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So our a squared is 1 over 2a squared minus 2. Our a is 1 over 2a times 1 over 3b. Then plus our b squared is going to be 1 over 3b squared. All right. So 1 over 2a times 1 over 2a becomes 1 over 4a squared minus this is going to be 1 over 6 a b if you multiply this by 2 it becomes uh by 2 it becomes 1 over 3 a b and then plus this is going to be 1 over 9 b squared So you can leave your answer this way or you do the LCM and the LCM in this case is going to be 3, 4 and 9. So 3, 1, 4, 3, 3, 1, 4, 1, then 4, 1, 1, 1. So this is going to be 9 times 4 which gives us 36. So you multiply everywhere by 36. 36. 36. So by 4, 1, by 4, 9, so it becomes 9a squared minus by 3, 1, by 3, 12, becomes 12ab, and then by 9, 1, by 9, 4, becomes 4b squared. So that's how we calculate using the fractions. You notice I always go back to old numbers, especially when we have calculated fractions. It makes your work easier, especially when we come to formation of equations. So let's work out one more question and you can do the remaining question. So you do the first one and then you finish with the last one. So this is minus a third x minus 1 squared so this is going to be our a this is going to be our b so you want to put it in a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so let's work it out so it's going to be minus a third squared remember that's our a minus 2 into bracket our a is minus a third x uh, times 1 and then um, plus b squared, which is 1 squared. So this becomes uh, 1 over 9. Remember the minus, uh, it's remember there's an x, x squared, then minus, it becomes plus because this is a minus a third x times minus 2, which becomes 2 over 3x then plus 1 that becomes your answer. You can continue to do the LCM as we discussed before. So the LCM of 9, 3, and 1 is going to be 9. You multiply by 9, you multiply by 9, and you multiply by 9, which gives us x squared plus by 3, 1, by 3, 3, 6x 
plus nine. So that's what we get. So you can work out the next question on your own. Just use the same process and then you're going to figure, uh, see how it works. Remember always you have the alternative to open. This is just making your work a little bit easier and faster. That's why we have those identities. So check out more revision questions on the same and notes on the same. And I'll see you in the next lesson.